Hello Aries, we are doing your July love reading. We're going to look at the untamed spirit. We get the overall energy of your reading is your energy is the bee. You have you feel responsibility and dedication to a connection with somebody. Let's see what their energy is towards you at this time. We have their energy is the raven. They see you as magic and their destiny. All right. So we're going to do a classic Celtic card spread. Their thoughts, feelings, and intentions about you, Aries. Your person of interest with whom you are interacting. This would not be new love or somebody that you're, you know, Brad Pitt. <laughs> so you get the idea. And what we have here is a look at what's going on within them. So I like it. Take what resonates, leave the rest. General readings are like a buffet table. Take what's yours, leave the rest. All right, the Nine of Swords, they're all up in their head. Aries, look at you. You have this person worried, very concerned. <laughs> they have remorse and regret over some things that they've done. They see you as a person that they want to build a life with. You may be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. But we get the energy that they feel as though you are a very beautiful person. You're very grounded. You're very reliable. This is the epitome of good energy. It's, it's actually Capricorn energy. Excuse me. I said Taurus. But it is that they see you as somebody who's hardworking, who's willing to do the work, who wants something of value uh, to build a life with them. They have the intention of doing that with you. The Page of Cups says that the energy coming into the reading is a little bit of a lightweight. And I feel as though they intend very good things with you, but they're having remorse and regret over the fact that they have not really conveyed a high level of dedication to you. We get the Four of Wands in the recent past. This person wants to have a foundation with you. For many of you, you could be married to the person. You could be living with the person. The way this is reading, though, I think most of you are in an exclusive relationship. For This is for whom it resonates. You are in a very uh, exclusive relationship with this person, and you have a foundation. You may live together, probably do. Um, or they want to, okay? So the energy in terms of the best that can be achieved right now is they're in a period of trying to seek enlightenment, looking at things from a different perspective. What can I do differently? So we have Pisces and we have Aries energy. There you are. Um, and we also have Pisces again. So we have two Pisces energies. You may be dealing with the Pisces. King of Pentacles, they see you as their perfect partner. You're the queen of pentacles, they're the king of pentacles. This is Taurus energy. Capricorn and Taurus are very complementary earth signs. So the energy of what actions they'll take. Ooh, five of swords. Five of swords says that in the near future, it's almost like they play mind games to win. I don't like that energy at all. Five of swords is um, kind of nefarious when you look at this card. It's like a winner takes all by default. This person didn't go into battle. Everybody else was on the battlefield, but this person was seeking the spoils of war. You know, what can I go in and snatch after the battle has gone on? So I really feel that this person thinks that you will default to them because you haven't had good luck in other relationships. It's almost like, well, I'm going to win because I'm going to stick around because other people really didn't do better than me, so I don't really have to work all that hard. But again, this person is beginning to understand it's the wrong thing to do, and yet they don't see, seem to be making the adjustment. We get the energy of how they see you. They see you as a person of great value. You are worth gold to them. The ace of coins can also be an engagement ring, but this represents your energy. This is you in this situation. They see you as wanting something very solid, very predictable, uh, marriage-like again. Uh, I think that the to two of you have probably discussed marriage. If you're older, you may decide not to be married, but you might want all of the benefits of marriage without the uh, certificate. 
they want to be a winner with you. This person plans on a victory with you. That is their greatest hope. We have the Four of Cups, though. I see this person as someone, Aries, I'm going to say straight up, this is not cool. They see you as the magic and the destiny. You know, that's how they see you. This is what they want with you. And yet they seem to be bored. They seem to be, you know, taking you for granted. They seem to be very aloof with you. I would say that this relationship may be problematic for many of you. Because it's like you're not getting the excitement that you want. You're just not getting it. So let's go ahead and clarify the energy here. I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Let me look at the messages of Love Oracle, okay? Let's see. What is this person up to? We're also going to look at your combined energy momentarily. I like to do two different spreads to give you a very strong feeling for what's going on. I do personal readings. Information is below. So if you'd like a personal reading, I do phone readings. Believe it or not. Okay. Unavailable. This person is unavailable. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that make sense? This person is unavailable to give you all that you deserve. So Aries, you're really, you're in a kind of a tough situation because what I'm getting here is that this person really just doesn't seem to, they want the rewards, but they don't seem to be doing the work. So leave comments below because I want to know how you feel about this. The Nine of Swords, what are they regretting here? Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is they're regretting that they've said harsh things to you when they should have been romantic with you. They're regretting that um, the Page of Pentacles, they haven't offered you enough. But if they regret it, why aren't they offering you more? That's problematic, you know. We get the energy of the queen when they look at you as the queen of Capricorn, the queen of Pentacles. They do see you as a person who has a very strong opinion about what you bring to the table and what you do and don't want. So that's clarified as being the energy of, ooh, <laughs> they feel as though, though you want to be a wife, mother, you know, you like that, that really at the end of the day, you're going to judge their masculine energy to see if you are, um, if they're juggling you. So that's how they do see you doing that. So that's part of the remorse and regret is that they're, they're seeing that they're really not measuring up, but then I don't see them doing anything about it. So like, what good is that? They're fearful, but fear doesn't get you anywhere. So let's take a look at the Five of Swords. Why are they being in this Five of Swords energy? Ooh, Five of Cups. They owe you an apology. I don't think this person apologizes. Judgment card. They burn their bridges with you. Two of Wands. See, what I don't like about this person is rather than step up to the plate and, and really live up to the karma that they've presented, they, they should apologize and yet they're keeping their options open. They feel like they're at a crossroads with you. So, okay, let's see why the hanged man energy is here. Why are they trying to look at things from a different perspective? Aries, you deserve better. Okay, we're getting the energy here. The two of swords, not doing anything. They don't want to listen. They don't like to be criticized. They're, this is a very ego-driven person. The moon card says that they have emotional wounds and they like being single. I'll tell you that this person really likes being single. And when they look at things from a different perspective, they can't even see a different perspective. It's like they're closed off to it. Two of swords. They don't want to listen to anything you have to say. I would say that it provokes some sort of anxiety in them. They see you as also very independent. And so well, what do we have here for the Ace of Coins for your energy? I keep dropping cards. They see you as giving more to the relationship than they do. They see you as being very generous. It's here you are. You're handing out, you know, they, they breadcrumb you, but you don't breadcrumb them. And I'm getting six of cups. You have this really genuine en energy of having wanting a soulmate connection with this person and going back to an earlier time in your relationship when it was really nice. King of Swords says that they do see you as somebody who will make a head over heart decision. They do not necessarily think that they can have a victory, though that's what they want. Why do they think they can have a victory? Because I think 
that it really is circumstantial. Why do they think, how do they think they'll get a victory? This person feels as though they can go off and they can get another lover. They feel as though they present enough of the good stuff that they are, you know, that they can take off. And if you reject them, that they're still going to find a love relationship. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Let's see what we have. We have the Hermit card. Yeah, this person likes to spend a lot of time alone. They are choosing you, but like, look at this. Five of Wands. It's conflicted. It's, it's really like, okay, why would they want to choose you? So the Three of Wands is choosing you. The Five of Wands is the conflict they don't like that happens, ego-driven. The Hermit card says that, you know, at the end of the day, they want you, but they're going to fight with you about the fact that they are a hermit with you. They do not give to you. The Hermit is a hermit. They're alone. There's a lot of cards here that would indicate to me that this person has not been really super successful in relationships. I think they bring things to the table, but... I just don't think that they're willing to really give you. I think, you know, any kind of really deep, really meaningful, very sort of spiritual depth-like relationship. It's almost like what's in it for me and what do I get and what do I have to give? And it seems like a big financial exchange or value exchange. You know, if I do this for you, you'll do that for me. And yet it shows me very clearly that they know that you give a lot more to the relationship than they do. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to do your combined energies in the recent past. Let's see what we have here. And then uh, the present time and what the future will bring. This is your mutual energy. Well, you both have been romantic with each other in the recent past. You could have made love last night. You could have had a nice dinner. You could have had a nice time in front of the television. Right now, both of you are feeling like you're connected in a way that just never feels quite right. It feels toxic. It feels a little bit like an imprisoned situation. And I'm not saying that you both sit there. What, what I'm trying to say is that you both feel really always a little awkward, a little uncomfortable, like you're walking on eggshells. The way your person sees the future, the Three of Swords, they think that there's going to be a breakup. They think that they will be left heartbroken. The way they see you as a person who's kind of given up on the relationship. They view you as someone who's trying to heal. They feel as though you might also love someone else. In their heart space, they feel a loss of love. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like it's it's not a desert because it's a snow, but this is a card of eviction that they... I think that whatever love was here at an earlier time has really, you know, really not grown. I think that, you know, your person in the near future is very likely to say something very pointed. This is runs with scissors. This person really can belt you with comments. Gemini energy, Taurus energy, uh, four of swords is Libra energy, three of swords, it, Libra energy. The devil card is Capricorn energy and Pisces energy for the Knight of Cups. Your mutual energy is only the Page of Pentacles. You're not highly invested in the relationship. Spirit is saying that this relationship has no foundation that's workable at this time, that you have to rebuild it. Your outcome is a Ten of Coins. Really weird outcome. That is, that's really strange. So what I'm seeing here is that you, Two people are doing well. You're doing well financially. You are well connected to family. Both of you are involved in one another's family. Both of you have what looks like a very stable long-term relationship. For the next six months, whatever is going on that's good will continue to go on, okay? Because relationships typically, if we don't define them, um, but for the month of July, your relationship goes on. But this looks very daunting to me. You know, it's like, yeah, it's stable and you're making money and you're comfortable and you're paying your bills and you have a nice life. And what I get here is I remember every detail of that day that you met. 
So your person's coming in here with the energy of, I'm so attracted to you. But they don't give you the ego boost of telling you that. I feel you even though we are apart. So even if you're under the same roof, it feels as though the two of you, you know, certainly are distant from each other. Let's go ahead and look at Twin Flame energy here. We had the 1111 card. What do we have? We have, let's go ahead and shuffle. Okay. I feel a special bond with you I've never felt before. This person's really fearful. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. See, they think it's, they think that it's inevitable. It's only a matter of time. And spirit is saying that the foundation of the relationship is faulty. And I just want you to be happy. Well, <laughs> when you live with somebody and you don't give them the love that they deserve, it's hard to be happy. You know, Aries, I would say, you know, it's only a month long reading. See you next month. This is a lot to think about. You have a lot on your plate. Send you so much love. Bye-bye, Aries. Take care.